Roberto has two dollars and seventy-five cents in dimes and nickels in his pocket. He has seven more nickels than dimes. How many of each type of coin does he have? We will begin by writing expressions for the number of dimes and the number of nickels. And because he has seven more nickels than he has dimes, let's let the variable d represent the number of dimes. Therefore, because he has seven more nickels than he has dimes, we can use the expression d plus seven for the number of nickels. Again, d plus seven is always going to be seven more than d. And because we know the total value of the coins is two dollars and seventy-five cents, we can now write an equation that we can use to determine how many of each type of coin he has. But before we do this, we need to decide whether we want to use dollars as units or cents. And let's use cents so we can avoid decimals. So each dime is worth 10 cents, and each nickel is worth five cents, and the total value of $2.75 is equivalent to 275 cents. Again, the only benefit of using cents rather than dollars is that we can avoid decimals in the equation. And now we'll write an equation based upon the values of the coins. Each dime is worth 10 cents, and therefore the value of the dimes is 10 cents times d, or just 10d, plus the value of the nickels is five cents times the quantity d plus seven, or just five times the quantity d plus seven. So this expression gives the total value of the coins, which we know has a value of 275 cents, and therefore we can set this expression equal to 275. And now if we solve the equation for d, we can determine the number of dimes and the number of nickels. To begin solving, we first simplify the left side of the equation by clearing parentheses and combining like terms, which means we first distribute five here, which gives us 10d plus five times d is 5d plus five times seven is 35 equals 275. We have like terms on the left side 10d plus 5d is 15d. The left side simplifies to 15d plus 35 equals 275. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. To isolate 15d, we need to undo plus 35 by subtracting 35 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying 35 minus 35 equals zero which is why we subtracted 35 on both sides. The left side simplifies to 15d, and then we have equals on the right side, 275 divided by 35 equals 240. The last step is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable and solve the equation. And because 15d means 15 times d, to undo the multiplication and solve for d, we divide both sides by 15. On the left, 15 divided by 15 is equal to one. One times d is d. On the right, 240 divided by 15 is equal to 16. Going back to the expressions for the number of dimes and nickels, because d equals 16, we now know Roberto has 16 dimes. And because the number of nickels is d plus seven, the number of nickels is 16 plus seven, which equals 23. So now we know Roberto has 16 dimes and 23 nickels. Before we go though, let's verify our answer is correct by making sure the value of these coins is $2.75 or 275 cents. Because each dime is worth 10 cents and each nickel is worth five cents, 10 cents times 16, or 10 times 16, plus five cents times 23, or five times 23, must equal 275 cents, or just 275. 10 times 16 equals 160, plus five times 23 equals 115. 160 plus 115 is 275. 275 equals 275 is true, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.